Now, News 3 Sports with Adam Winkler. What just happened? Oh, my goodness. Switching gears to sports. Over the weekend, three football teams, a whole bunch of you, care a whole bunch about prove late November drama can start well before your Uncle Ronnie begins talking politics at the Thanksgiving dinner table. Old Dominion, the Redskins, and Virginia Tech each involved in thrilling finishes. And we'll cover all of them in tonight's Checkered Flag Sports Report. We start with the Skins by allowing two touchdowns, a two-point conversion, and a game-winning field goal in overtime yesterday in New Orleans. The Redskins become the first team since 2011 to lose a game they led by 15 points or more with less than three minutes to go. Drew Brees and the Saints stun the Skins 34-31. I'm not going to stand up here and, and blame the calls or blame the players or anything. Just that uh, let's credit Drew and, and their execution. And our execution wasn't good enough against a heck of a quarterback, Hall of Fame type quarterback. So, And when we tried to bring pressure, he escaped effortlessly and found open receivers. The Redskins now with a 2% chance of making the playoffs host the Giants Thanksgiving night. To college football, Saturday clinging to a six-point lead, Virginia Tech stops Pitt not once, not twice, not thrice, but four times from the one-yard line, the latter coming on the final play of the game to preserve the lead and the victory. Hokies head to UVA for the 99th edition of the Commonwealth Cup Friday. Tech has won 13 in a row against the Hoos. Now, we showed you the Hokies, we showed you the Skins, but neither one of those thrilling finishes have the postseason implications Old Dominion's dazzling ending does. Trailing rights 21-17 Saturday, the Monarchs drive 75 yards in a minute and 28 seconds to take a three-point lead on this Stephen Williams touchdown run with just 37 seconds to go. The come-from-behind victory keeps ODU's bowl game hopes alive. Bobby Wilder's bunch needs a win Saturday at Middle Tennessee in its season finale to have any chance at receiving a bowl bid. The double digit underdogs uh, were not expected to win. Um, we haven't been thought of as a team even in consideration for bowl contention for the last month. We've been in five straight one score games, five straight pressure games. So this has become natural to our players. Now, the players at Hampton University will have a new head football coach next season. Connell Maynard, who guided the Pirates to a record of 20 and 25 in four seasons at the helm, resigns tonight. Now, if I had any idea what Bev was talking about with the wormhole and time travel, <laughs> I would say something about Coach Maynard going back in time to not be 20 and 25. Yeah. But I'm just a dopey sports guy. I did not understand. No. Like she was trying to explain to me the wow. whole wormhole thing. If I had a piece of paper, I, was... I could explain to you because my kids explained it to me. You need I a big telestrator, yeah. Something like that, Ooh. yeah. All right.